All right, hello everyone. <clears throat> um, okay, today I'm going to show you something that I ran into while working on uh, kentc.com. <clears throat> so um, this is kind of new and fun. Um, and I am in the process of moving all my blog posts over. It's gonna take a very long time. I'm gonna try and automate some of it. But uh, the piece that I wanted to talk about was I am also a novelist. Um, and so I have a slash writing page that has um, information about my writing. I'm still working on up updating this. Um, but you'll notice that there's a difference here. It says, hi, I'm Kenzie Dodds and I write epic fantasy, whereas this is uh, talking about building a better world through quality software. So um, most pages um, have this default um, heading hero thing um, that, uh, yeah, has nothing special. The only two pages are the home page and the writing page. And so um, in the process of building this, I came across something that I thought you all might find interesting. So um, let me bump that up one more. We have our app, and that's going to render a layout, uh, among other things. And the layout renders several things, and one of those things is the hero. But we've got two different kinds of heading or hero things. I don't even know what a hero is, but um, yeah, two heading things. And uh, so we've got this one, and then we have a default. So we're going to call this one the big hero, and this is the default. So the layout has a default, and what we do is we accept a hero prop, and if it's not provided, then we'll default to the default hero. That is just uh, the one that's on most of the pages. Um, and then we also have this big hero. So if we want to use that one, then we'll say hero equals big hero. Uh, and magic ensues. Um, okay, so normally, like it would, it would actually be probably better to not accept that hero prop. I'm just going to take this as an aside really quick um, and render the hero like this. Um, and then you'd render the children, except that um, we're already using the children prop for laying out something else. Um, so I'm, and I'm not going to take time. But uh, if you can make it just be part of children and let the um, the person who's rendering stuff be responsible for putting what they want where they want, then that's even better. But um, because this is the the best situation for this, um, then that's that's the API that I want. Um, so we're accepting that hero component, and then we create a React element out of that hero um, um, component. So how uh, the, the problem that I came up against was I said, OK, well, I've got two different messages that I want to have shown here. So how do I go about making that ma uh, magic happen? Um, and so I said, well, what I'll do is I'll make the big hero accept a message, and then it can default to the default message. We'll take this and say default message. Okay, sweet. And then we'll render the message here. Okay, cool, cool. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I'm live streaming from my PC. My Wi-Fi keeps on cutting out on me and I need to figure out how to get my uh, I have two Ethernet ports in my wall, and one of them doesn't work. Um, so I have the Ethernet port connected to my streaming PC, but I don't have one connected to my laptop, and my Wi-Fi keeps cutting out, and it's really annoying. Uh, okay, so anyway, we've got that default message rendering. Now, how this is the real question. This is why I'm creating the video. How do I specify a message when I... I am not rendering it. So like the, this is the user. We're going to have different pages and stuff, and they're all going to render the layout. How do I specify what that message should be for the big hero? Because the layout component is the one that's rendering the hero, not the app component. So here's one way. Um, I could say hero message sup. And then we accept that hero message here. Oh, and actually, sorry, there was one other thing. This is color. Um, it, we'll just say black or green. There we go. So now you can see it's green. So um, yeah, so I could say hero message and accept that as a prop and then say hero message equals whatever, or actually it'd be hero message, right? So that should work. Oh, and then actually this would just be message. There we go. So that works, but um, there are like presumably um, as many 
potential things as possible. So I, I've opened up a world of possibilities with the hero thing that I render at the top um, by allowing uh, people to specify the own, their own component. Um, but then um, I'm having to tie things um, as like, I have to add a bunch of props. Any, uh, any prop that this big hero needs, I have to um, pass them there. So I don't like that very much. That's not, that's not great. That doesn't scale very well. So here's another potential solution is I could make a function my big hero and that returns hero with the message whatever and and it'll take some props and it'll forward whatever props and then we can just specify my big hero and this will actually be big hero and that works um seems like like a fair amount of work um but it it does work and it seems pretty yeah that, that could be pretty straightforward here's the solution that i came up with i changed this um prop from a hero component to a hero element and then what i do here is i'll say oh and actually well yeah what i'll do here is i'll say react.clone element hero and color green and then instead of a capital hero i specify a lowercase hero and um, instead of, um, well, here, instead of specifying the, a reference to the component function, I specify a reference, or a reference to a React element that was created from that function, and that allows me to say message equals hello world. And uh, then I can do whatever I want. I can um, pass any um, any props that I want to this big hero and just say take this thing and render it to um, wherever you render the hero and um, then the layout can say okay yeah but I also want to specify a couple other props um, and um, yeah that are relevant to this layout so this is a GraphQL site so layout has a, a static query that uh, gets like the site title and some other things like that that it wants to pass on to the hero so um, so yeah, the layout has the, some information that it wants to pass to the hero. The app want, has some information that it wants to pass to the hero. So we can do both by using react.createElement. Um, yeah, so I think that is it for me. Let me just check if anybody had questions. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, I think that's it. For today, uh, I have a newsletter to write. So uh, actually, the, the place to subscribe to my newsletter now is you go to kentcdots.com, go down to join the newsletter. Um, I'm also going to do my three minutes with Kent today. Uh, there goes my internet connection again. Ugh. Got to figure, what's, uh, figure out what's going on there. But um, yeah, so go check that out. I hope that's interesting and fun. And I will see you all later. Peace out. Have a nice day. And oh, great. Because my internet's not on. I can't uh, connect to my PC with my fancy use the mouse on that screen. Okay, there we go. Got it. Ugh. Hey, see ya.